Before going further into our topic, we have to mention the name and work of our illustrator friend Anish who created our logo for us. We are very grateful and glad to get help from him and if you are also in the need of high quality logos, vector images or illustrations then please contact him from the link given in the description. Hello and what's up everyone, this is Viper and in this video I am going to talk about wrong length encoding which is a lossless data compression algorithm and with being said lossless, we can get the same quality of data even after the decoding the encoded version. It is very easier to decode and encode and it can be even done by our own hand. And it is not that much hard to understand the code and write a pseudo program for it too. So how is it easy? Here I have an example of binary data 1101100000 and 1. And there are 10 characters. So in order to compress it using the run length encoding, I will be starting from the leftmost position. So the current value is 1 and now we have to find out how many times that 1 has been consecutively repeated. We can clearly see that here is 1 and here is 1. So there has been 2 repetitions. So we would be writing 1, 2. And the next value is 0. Since this 0 has not been repeated, we would be writing 0 and it has been repeated only once. So 0, 1. Now we go to the next value which is 1 and again this 1 has been repeated 1 times, sorry 2 times. Then we will be writing 1, 2. Now going to the next position which is 0, we have to find out how many times that 0 has been consecutively re repeated. So we can see that there has been 4 repetitions. So we will be writing 0, 4. And finally we have 1 and since this 1 has, not, has been repeated only once, we will be writing 1, 1. In this example, we have compressed our original data now and the compressed data only takes 50% of the original size. So our compression rate is 50%. But this is not the always the universal case. In other words, all our data can be different. Like uh, in some data, there might not be any repetitions. Like there would be some, time, some type of data like 10101010. Then it would be taking much more storage than the original data. So this is the worst case. And the easier case can be only zero repeated for number of times or one repeated number of times but those are all the assumptions and I will be using the real old image and also the uh, dummy image when, in order to do the wrong length encoding so let's code it before writing wrong length encoding code we have to import dependencies first of them is numpy numpy is imported for doing array operations cb2 or opencb is imported to do simple read write of image matplotlib is used to do inline visualization of image yes why yes or system is imported to do uh, like finding size of objects os is to do operations like finding the size of file and so on it is a simple dummy function to view image i forgot to add a little title here so let me correct it here is a dummy image of size 100 by 100 I created using NumPy's random integer function. Before writing our actual code, it is a better idea to start with simple pseudocode or procedure. Here I have a simple binary data just like on the presentation I showed earlier. So at the beginning, pointer is at the first value that is 1. Now compressed image is 1 1 which means that 1 is repeated 1 times. Next value is 0. Again, it is repeated one times, hence compressed image is 1101, which means that 1 is repeated one times and 0 is repeated one times. Next, value is 1 and it is repeated three times, hence we would write 1, 3. Similarly, next compressed image is 1101, and so on. We can see that our image size was 16 and now it is compressed to it. But again, this is not always the case that we will achieve 50% compression rate and I will try to experiment it little bit more in the further parts. Now to decompress the encoded image, we again start from left and then repeat that value by number after the first digit. Please don't get confused by terms decompress and decoded here because in this video, both will be representing same thing. Before writing an encoding function, I would like to show simple image that we will be using to do this. Here is an image bg20.png and I have read it on bgr format so I converted it into grayscale. Then I have applied threshold in it to get binary image. Now I want to see how can I do wrong length encoding on this image and I am taking 
a simple chunk only right now to visualize whether we can apply it or not here is 20 to 100 rows and 30 to 100 columns so it is 80 by 70 image so it is showing blue in background and yellow on foreground because i am not using cmap as gray on matplotlib i am so using same concept we will be counting zeros and until that position and 255 i have already written a blog and it is live on our github page which can be seen by following the link from the description below we will be starting with a simple function rle underscore encoding which will take image then threshold that image into the binary then we will be initializing an empty list then count as zero and f img is flattened version of image flatten converts our pulley image to 1d now look through every values of FIMG. Now initialize PREV previous is known. If previous is known, then set previous to pixel and increase count by one. Else we have two options. If previous value is not current pixel, then we should append our count and previous in encoding. And change previous value, then reinitialize count as one. If previous value is pixel then we will increase the count and in the end we will be returning an array of encoding in this loop we would be missing the last count and previous thus we should append it just after loop closes now check our function by passing the previously cropped part that is the variable g and it shows that there are 53 zeros and 17 255s in the first row another interesting thing we can do with this encoded array is that we could view it as an image also now we have to decode the encoded image. We should pass the encoded image and the shape of original image. Now initialize all list decoded as empty and run all loop through each encoded value. Get run and pixel value from the tuple respectively. And then extend the pixel repeated run times to decode it. Finally, make an array of decoded list then receive it to save. Now calling it, we will pass encoded values and then save 80 by 70 but it is showing some name error it is common error for all of us i use encode instead of encoded on function argument now viewing it we can see that it is identical to the crop part now i would like to try this on original image i have done few experiments and which are available on blog so i would like to encourage you to view them Well, that was simple code along of RLE, but now I am going to explain the code I have written and published on the blog. The code will be again starting with imports and dummy functions. I have done some experiments like size of our 100 by 100 dummy image, whose values will be from 0 to 255. Now, using .get size of dummy, uh, it returns the size in bytes and dividing it by 1024, we can get kilobytes. Now write that image as d.png on drive. Now I have read that back as grayscale and checked the size of it. Again, I am checking with blank image whose entire pixel values will be zero. And data type will be uint8 which means that unsigned integers of 8 bits. So I printed size of blank image and again it is showing the same size for both zero image and random image. What is happening here? The size given by SYS here is the size of object not the size taken on the drive. Now saving blank image on drive, random image is taking 10.2 kilobytes and blank image is taking 214 bytes. So we can see that OpenCV has done something while writing image. So through this experiment, one can conclude that higher the frequency of pixel on the image, higher the storage it will take. That's why our random image took 10 kilobytes and blank took 214 bytes. Now I have created a function get underscore size to show real size. We give it a file name and then it will get this stat of that file then return the size. So dd is taking 214 bytes and d is taking 10.2 kilobytes. So this was an example that I have done already. There are a few things one should be caring about while making basic run length encoding function. Our task is that we want to save our encoded image on drive and read it back to decode. If we are going to write that image as an image, then the run length cannot be larger than 255 for most image extensions or it should not be exceeding 8 bits because it is the maximum value a pixel can be. If we will be using a run length encoding without limiting a bits, then our RLE will not work fine. 
Now passing original BG20 image, there will be 18 to 12 repeats of 0 on the first and then 2087 repeats of 0 on last. So let's show it as an image. Again, encoded version is looking cool. Now write an image on PNG, then decode it back. But let's see how much storage it has taken. BG20 has taken 17.3 kilobyte and test is taking 2.06 kilobyte, which is more than 50 percentage of compression rate. Now let's try to decode it back. Read it back in grayscale format, then run decode function by passing the Arial EE and shape of original image. But let me first define shape. Now it shows that there has been value error. So why is that happening? That is because our Arial EE does not have values above 255. Anything above 255 has been replaced by 255. If we check encoded version with decoded, we can see that 1812 has been replaced by 255. Now, in order to prevent this error, we will be adding limit concept. That is, whenever we find the count is 255, then append it and reinitialize count as 1. Now, returning back to our original RL encoding function, it takes bits whose purpose is to limit the run length. That is, if bits is 8 and run reaches 255, then append that and reinitialize the runs. So, you will be using 2 to the power bits minus 1 length of run. The boolean binary here is used to do threshold or not. View is for showing thresholded image. The variable th here is used to do actual binarization. That is, if value is below 2, sorry, 127, then make it 0, else 1. Now the different part is on the else part. If our current run count is smaller than the 2 to the power bits minus 1, then we would increase count. Else, append that and initialize the count. Now talking about some data compression algorithms, NumPy has its own npz and npz.npy format. We can simply save it and saving encoded image as tif and png format. I have even shown the encoded image. Now read that encoded image and then decode then show it. Now looking for the size of each file, we can see that png format has taken 2088 and TIF has taken 1532 and so on. All the values are in bytes. The winner in this case is TIF format. We knew that RLU works fine with binary image. What about using grayscale image? I have passed grayscale inside encoding function. Now I have saved encoded array in all the formats. So which shows that it takes 7008 bytes for the TIFF format and which is the list storage taken. And decoded image looks identical to encoded image too. The compression rate on both binary and grayscale format seems great, but this is just valid for image uh, we used on this example. Now the tough part is to encode the RGB image. Can we apply RLE on the RGB image or not? I don't know that yet, but I have tried a little bit earlier and let's see that. Here I have our image with lots of variation of pixel values and I will be trying on this same image. The image size is 640 KB and I am reading it on BGR format and we can simply convert that into RGB. Now I have taken on every channel and calling the RL encoding function for each channel and setting the binary uh, boolean value false because if we set binary then we would lose the color property. So here I can see all the channels but all seems somewhat identical because all are shown in grayscale format. Now the huge problem comes, we cannot combine the encoded array of each channel because there will be different run lengths for each channel. We can know that by viewing the shape of arrays. Now saving all channels as UNPZ, it takes 51 MB. The image of 640 KB is taking 51 MB on the encoded version, which is pretty huge. Now saving all the channels as TIFF and UNPZ, then viewing the size, we can see that encoded version is taking much more storage than the original image. Now for another case, I am reading image with less changes on pixel values. The original size is 16 KB and encoded sizes are many times higher than original. The reason must be that we are trying to get the encoded values for those portions which are not storing useful information like 
background of this image is black and we are using three different areas uh, in red green and blue to represent that so there will be unnecessary storage taken by this image and thus i really fails in this case now for the final part instead of passing each channel how about treating rgb image as a grayscale image which means that passing an entire rgb image to rl encoding function now the result shows that it takes 37 kilobyte for bg20 image now let's check for another large image with more pixel differences now it is taking 7.8 mb so this was everything about rle in this video and for the conclusion part as with my experiment rle will work only with binary image and the pixel frequency is less and then saving the encoded version as diff format will also take less storage than the other formats like png and npz so this was a small overview and simple RLE code and some time passing experiments. I hope you have learned something valuable and we would appreciate any feedbacks and suggestions from you. So please leave your views and I will see you on next video. Stay safe.